Runk. <laughs> Room savvy savvy no me bam ba dam. Uh, room savvy savvy no me bam ba dam. That's bad. Nope, you it's look, not bad. You look like uh, the Easter version of the Unabomber. Ha! No, I look like uh, the grape in Fruit of the Loom, who was played by David Allen Greer. Yep, but also Thank more you. what I said, though. So I look like David. I am like David Allen Greer. David Thank Allen Greer is great. Thank you. No, I'm not saying you're like Because what you were saying is that I'm like him. And you should have opened that before we started recording. Is is the deal. The deal is that wouldn't have made it that much of a noise. And now you calling it out makes it all different. No, you can open it in like 10 minutes. But you opened it literally 10 seconds after we started. I see. It's not good. I see. (laughs) It's not good to do. Uh, um, So you were sick. Now you're not. You're a little bit still. I'm not. I don't. Yeah. I'm like. You know how it is at the end of a cold where you're just like, when is it going to yeah. totally end? Yeah. That's where I'm at. I guess that's where I am too. I mean, copying me. No. What happened? You, well, you I didn't sick. think I was sick. Okay, <clears throat> then, it, then Oh, okay. Then that's not where you're at. I convinced myself I'm not sick until I'm getting better. And then I'm like, maybe I was sick. Oh, uh, well, I, I wish I could have done that. I was so messed up though. My, <clears throat> but I it wasn't COVID. I, it was not COVID. <clears throat> I could not swallow. Oh, that's the worst. enduring excruciating pain ah did you get it can't you get a shot for that i've had shots in the past cortisone but i did not because i didn't want to go to the doctor i was like does that help the cortisone shots oh yeah well then why didn't you just get one because i have to go to the doctor it would have been so much better though because honestly i don't think i would he would have given me one because it was only a sore throat Uh, i didn't have a fever uh, i didn't have an infection it was just it was or i didn't have a bacterial infection oh okay that's the reason he gave he gave it to me that one time in my rearius maximus Okay. Is because you know? I was very sick in a number of ways and I needed, I had a massive fever and I needed the swelling in my throat to go down so I could continue to live. Rearus Maximus. Yeah. So you could continue to live. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that's so cool. So they were like, pull down your pants. I need to inject this in your Rearus Maximus. And I was like, Didn't hey, say that, but... I just met you. <laughs> no. Right? Not, no. That's something like that a 68 year old would say to a okay, doctor. Okay. Well, like, does a 68 year old. Uh, uh, Honestly, a 68-year-old in 1980 would say it. Does, so. a, six, does a 68-year-old have this? <clears throat> uh, no. George okay. Michael died, so yeah, well, he, he wouldn't be 68. He might, what if he was actually going to be 68 if he was still alive? Yeah, then I would have been great. Check it out, dude. Does it do this? A dolphin. Does it, does it do this, Does he it said. do this? Because I right. don't think it does. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, I, so I was in therapy today and my and i was like man i just feel down and like you know not like happy and i don't know what it is i'm just like i told my wife like i told kristen i was like just so you know i'm gonna not gonna do i'm gonna leave my face how it's gonna be i'm not gonna do extra like smiling and stuff if i don't want to smile i'm not gonna smile so if you say something i might think it's cool but i'm not gonna smile extra because of it just to let you know that i think it's cool my face is just gonna do what it's gonna do sleeper and how'd that go (laughs) and how'd that go no and so i told my therapist and she's like you're just, you sound like rat, your throat's rat, throat is raspy. And I was like, yeah, a little bit. She's like, are you just sick? Mm. And I was like, I don't know. And at the end of the therapy, she helped me figure out that I was just sick. And that's why you're feeling like. But how dumb is that? Scoochie, like, no, I'm not going to do it like that. That's, that's why you were acting that way, she's saying? No, 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 no. She was just like, you don't feel happy oh, because oh, you're just oh. sick. And I was like, yeah, maybe you're right by the end of it. How dumb is that that I'm that dumb that I need therapy f- to figure out if I have a cold? Yeah, that's weird. That's like going to a GP to, to figure out if you need to talk about your mother, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the opposite. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I need therapy now as a medical doctor for like physical stuff. So that's Yeah, great. yeah that's really mixed up. Um, But it's cool and I'm still really smart, you have to admit. I, I don't. I, I don't. Uh, I don't. I, th- I don't think you are smart. Yeah, you do. I don't think that. Yeah, you do. Let me. Be, let. You do. Let, let me be honest with you. Okay. I don't think that. You're not being honest with me. I think I'm smart. For those who are watching and can't see it, he's actually lifting up one leg when he does it. Two, both legs, like this. Oh, dude, how about oh, this? Oh wow, dude? midair. How about this? He's smart. So dumb well calvin likes it dude uh he's three 
<laughs> dude. Yeah. We're having a good time, dude. Having a good time. No. Having a good Thank time. Thank you. We're not coming to Hollywood. So look, people really like this podcast. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm going to be honest with you too. Okay. People Pe- really like this podcast. They, they, they come to my shows and they say how much they like it. And they say, don't stop doing it. And I, you know, I guess we're not. But right. like, uh, so we're going to keep doing the podcast, but also uh, leave, a, a pres- uh, leave a, a, what do you call it, a comment? Leave a comment. And subscribe. And then also you like, tell your friend con- about it. If you like the podcast, let's get it going. Dude, I'm telling you right now, if we're sitting at these views for the for 10 years, we're not going to be doing it. So you're saying, what about the comment? Leave it. Leave, leave a-, a comment. Help the algorithm go. Oh, yeah. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Yeah. It's all right. But um, so, yeah. So that's, that's that. I'll be in Austin, Midland. Uh, I'll be in Minneapolis shooting my special that you're going to direct. And I will be in Milwaukee. Go to chrislea.com. And also, I will be in Ohio, chrislea.com. Uh, if you want to come see me on Torah. Uh, if you have a question, click the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com. And if you want one-on-one sessions uh, for advices with Matt here, one-on-one with Matt D'Elia, uh, just go to mattdelia.com. It's not therapy, but Matt has advices for you. It's and, pimping, pimping. And you could also get uh, great Lifeline merch at uh, lifelinemerch.com. So yeah, so that's it. Where, I haven't seen you in a bit or what? Yeah. No, I... no, no. I saw you for Calvin's birthday. Oh, right. And then you got sick. You probably got sick from Calvin's oh. birthday, obviously. Oh. Falling. Why'd you, why'd you invite me then? Do you think you got sick from that? No, I hadn't thought about it. But. You, you think you did though now? No, oh, but what, maybe. What it's possible. You, oh. Yeah. Well, I, I think maybe you did. I don't like when people are like, oh, I, I think I know where I got sick. Unless someone they were yeah. around was sick and like coughing all over them. Mom. Mom? Mom was sick. Oh. She came anyway. She's bad. Oh, why you got to do me like that, mom? No, it wasn't that she was, she was pretty much over it, but I still think she probably had it. I think she was doing what I was doing, saying like, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. I got that from mom. Fuck, man, it's not my fault, thank God. Yes, You need to go to therapy again. Uh, (laughs) I think uh, when people... You know, mom is watching, she's like, no, they always blame everything on me. We're not, we're making a joke. Yeah, no, I blame everything on on Chris, Mm. not you, mom. Yeah, okay, well, it's all good. I love you, mommy. Weird. Mommy, I love you. You feel weird. <laughs> you know when you get sick, you laugh all weird. Yeah, dude, yeah. I laugh like this. Oh, 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 that's great. Like a drowning Englishman. Yeah, that's so messed up. Uh, anyway, dude, let's talk about Pedro uh, Pascal. Oh, okay, he's cool. He's very cool. And that's it. Moving on. But people uh, aren't moving uh, why, on. Why? They? Uh, They're not moving did on. Did you are bring they? him up then? They're not moving on because the internet is so obsessed. People are so obsessed with uh, Pedro Pascal that. A viral vi- a video went viral of him just because he got Starbucks. Oh, that sounds interesting. What did he do? He got, uh, first of all, it's my drink that I get. Okay. He got it. So and he- he, everyone's like, this is the Pedro Pascal that you, that you can get, which is four shots over ice, which is what I get, dude. So he stole it from me. So I'm sexy. Okay. But what is the deal with Pedro Pascal? Well, who cares? That's my point. He's great. He's cool. But... People no. are going nuts over him because he wore like a shirt with no collar or something. No, it's because he's on the biggest show that there is right now, right? Yeah, but also The Mandalorian. Yeah, uh, he's a, he, it's because he's a huge star. And he's yeah. having a moment now. He's like he's like in his 50s though. Okay, but what about... No, he's not his 48. But what about really? Chris Pratt, who is a big star? And it's not like that. I know why. White? No. What? He is like... Uh, People, I don't even know if this is true, but people think of him as like someone who's staunchly right wing. That's why, dude. I that's all I ever hear about him anymore. Yeah, you're right. You have to be a bit. But of the a, media like, say what you want about the media. It's like that is filled with like fall in line left. Yeah, yeah, thinking. yeah. Well, for sure. So well, they're the- not going to care about Chris Pratt. They're going to care about Pedro Pascal because sexiness latino because right not white never said anything about anything but equality thing to be is not white Mm -hmm. and uh yeah he he also is really 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 funny and charming no he is a great actor i'm not but it's beyond that it's beyond that i don't even know that because you're telling me that you brought him up I said I love him, and you said yeah. cool. He's cool, and I said he's cool, and then you said we're done talking about because him because sounds like you have a, something going on. No, if you open your phone, you can't, and you start scrolling, you cannot go three minutes without seeing something about Pedro Pascal. Yeah, you can't. Okay. So do you know that or not? I think I do know that. There we actually, go. So then yeah. you do know that. Yeah. So then I'm bringing it out of you. I'm like a therapist. So he's way. the guy who's having a minute right now. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Good for him. But I'm more so, him. his minute is 
jam-packed with seconds. Oh, not just 60, huh? No, dude. He's got like so many seconds on top of each other that equal this one minute. So he's having like a 15 minutes. A full-blown minute. No, but it's not longer because it might not last. Who knows how long it's going to last. So now but you're it's bending, a full-blown, hardcore, flaming hot minute. You're bending space-time. Pedro, Pedro Pascal is bending space-time. He's bending space-time. Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, that sounds newsworthy to me. Full-blown, hardcore, flaming hot minute. That's a good title. I got to say, though, ever since he was in Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. I really, I really like him. And I really... Yeah, I think he's like really handsome. Yeah, and, he and is charming. Yeah, uh, is a hundred percent, and not taken. Dude, if it was me in that position, I'd be like, guys, all right. So what's he doing? He is just being like, ha -ha, yeah, because ha -ha. everyone's likes like, it. oh, he just did. Ha -ha. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, he got oh. a four. Qu uh, here's the thing. I'm bitter because the dude took my drink and took it, went public with my drink, and now my drink it doesn't even feel like my drink anymore, dude. I think. I'm I think that his drink has more shots. Two in more it. shots in it, right? Yeah, but yeah. people are, but it's a quad shot with two extra shots. So people are saying quad shot. So now I can't say quad shot without thinking about Why the Pedro Pascal. Why do thing. you both know about Pedro Pascal's Starbucks? Be because order? it's everywhere. That's my point. You I think I give a shit what I he drinks? I haven't seen anything about Pedro Pascal going to Starbucks. What are you guys talking also, about? Also, dude, don't why be does a, anyone care about don't that? Don't be sneakily saying that Pedro Pascal drinks more hardcore coffee than I. He did, did say that. He, yeah, in he fact, was sneakily he being said, like, I think it's actually more. It's what not he that. said is seven. basically that you're a total bitch. He was sneakily being like, I think it's actually more, and I wasn't even going to address that. That was okay, fine, dude. I'm getting seven from now. Seven shots in one cup. <laughs> Just going to be so wired and yelling all the time. <laughs> hey, what's up? You guys know about Pedro Pascal? Me outside of coffee bean and tea leaf. <laughs> dude, he's like, he's got so many seconds packed into this minute. <laughs> It's crazy, right? Oh, wow. Game of Thrones, fucking Narcos, fucking the other one, fucking the zombie one. Jesus Christ, Pedro Pascal's insane. Security comes, <laughs> just carts your ass away. What? You don't like Pedro Pascal? We the fucking same thing with Chris Pratt and Chris Pratt's wife. <laughs> That's <know>. so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Sucks, man. But also, Chris, Chris Pratt is uh, oh, staunch Republican. It's not even that true. Maybe ask my brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically just a typical crazy person at a coffee bean. In LA. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah, but Chris Pratt also, because you brought him up, uh -huh. sticking with that example, is so boring. Nah, Chris Pratt. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like as a person out and about. Yeah, yeah he doesn't really do stuff. Like, yeah. but he's not. But he's a good act. He's. I think he's a great. I love his acting. All right. Well, I think he's funny. It's as starting shit. to sound like you. Own, you like every actor. Who, who? What actor do you not like? Oh my god. No. 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 Dude. Who? Name name somebody. Name somebody. Uh, Jeff, Pedro Pascal. Jeff oh yeah, Goldblum. Oh, he he. Oh, enough already, dude. Yeah, I agree about that. Enough, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah. With his purple suits. Okay, yeah, yeah. Who else? Like he's in Kings of Comedy. Name right. name one. What about Laura Dern? She's great. You love everybody. Okay, that's another one. Uh, okay. Um, Viola Davis. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Okay, see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll keep going, please. All right, all right, I'll try somebody who's less considered good. Yeah, really. Uh, Jesus, guys like Meryl Streep. Uh, uh, Seth Green. He's nice, a nice guy. I Can't like say something bad about he's any a nice actor? person, so I don't really okay, know so his stuff. Okay, so he's messing up the. Okay. Uh, what about? Oh, look, Pedro Pascal's Oscar uh, Starbucks order. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to watch that when I get home. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's uh, nothing. Uh, who else do we like? Uh, 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 Alec Baldwin. He's funny. <laughs> all right, dude. Like, can I just, all right, you know, it's you like, like everybody. Salma Hayek. Is that Ed that? Norton. Ed Norton. He's good. He's good. Daniel Craig. I love him. Wow, dude. Okay. This is, I didn't even realize this about you, but you like every actor. I didn't realize this about me either. Yeah. You honest. like every actor. I thought I don't like any actors. Yeah, but truth comes out. Wait, hold on. There's got to be some that I don't like. Uh, yeah, but Jamie Lee Curtis, like, uh, she's pretty good. Honestly. Uh, wow. All right. Well, you like everybody. Peter Dinklage. Speaking of I Game think of he gets, he's really good, but he gets extra shit because he's, you know, uh, I don't want to say. Oh, you only like the ones with the, Extra, you know. What else? <laughs> come on. Uh, who else? You guys, come on. Uh, 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 Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I mean, he's handsome. So it doesn't that's matter. all you're going to say about him? He's, he's good. Just handsome? Fuck, man. I think all these guys are good. All right, never See? mind. Okay, dude. yes. You, you like every actor. He's good. All right. I like a lot of actors. Um, Jeremy Renner. 
He's good. I like him. You love Renner. Well, you know I love Jeremy Renner. But I remember even long ago you talk about how good he was in the town. Yeah, remember he's that? good, dude. And that always bothered me that you said that. Why? Because it was like you're going to talk about the town and you're like you're going to talk about a guy with like a smaller role in it. Uh, it's annoying. Like that. I will give I it to like you that, that is yeah. annoying. But Jeremy Renner, that was when I, I think that was because that was when I first saw him. It's like when someone's like, you know, he really steals the show, though. But I didn't say that. Yeah, you, but you basically. No, no, no. I would you, never say Jeremy Renner steals the show. But in you the said, town. but you were basically not, had the sentiment of someone who's like, yeah, I know there's that big movie that everyone loves. No, but you know who really stole the show, dude. I don't That's do that. That's basically what you did. I don't do that. Uh, maybe not, but it's essentially the thing you did. You know the number one that doing that thing you did. You know what the the one thing that I quit. Yeah. By the way, so many people in the comments said that they knew. See, the, I dude, I told you. Everybody knows I quit from that thing you do. So look, uh, the, you know who stole the show is uh, who's that actor Christopher something in American Beauty. Christopher, Christopher, isn't his name Christopher? I don't know what role does he play. The neighbor. Oh, Chris Cooper. Chris Cooper. His whole name sounds like Christopher, but yeah, yeah, his yeah. name is Chris yeah, he, Cooper. He yeah. stole the show in American Beauty. Okay, <laughs> let's go to um, let's go to a uh, thing, dude. We got off on the on yeah. The we got thing. we got going on yeah, the actors. Yeah, got going. Yeah, got Pedro going. Pascal. So let's do the next one. Hey, Matt and Chris, it's Dan from Amsterdam. Uh, love you guys. Love the podcast. Love all your content. Um, but yeah, so what I need some advice on is apparently my fiance looks like my mom. Oh. Um, oh, so uh, wow. when I first started dating you her, well. I kind of showed a picture to my cousin and he's like, oh, she looks like your mom. I was like, no, she doesn't. Thought nothing of it, whatever. Uh -oh. Recently, though, I my grandpa, my, really like. my mother's <laughs> father, fuck mom. came to me or said something like, I had to look at the picture a little bit harder I saw on Facebook because I couldn't tell the difference between your mom and uh, your fiance. And that obviously messed with me Come on, way more than my cousin did. <laughs> nice house. Um, so yeah, I don't know. How do I handle this situation? Like, how, what do I say to someone that comes to me and says that, um, am I sick for, for, I mean, loving this, this woman? Um, obviously I'm not going to leave her. I love her to death. Probably. She's my soulmate, but leave your mom. I don't really know how to handle this situation. Yeah, get a new I mom. To think, I guess. So any advice would be great. Thanks guys. You but, need a new mom. Also, tell those have people. Wrote, should have wrote him back and asked for pictures. Tell those people. He's bad. Chris Marco's bad. Hey, you're bad. Dude, how could you not ask the dude for pictures? Well, uh, because uh, 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 then we need, I mean, because then I need to do consent. Yeah, uh, it just it takes. He <laughs> didn't think about the consent thing. Just didn't do it. <laughs> it takes just a lot more do, time. Thought about doing it and thought I don't want to do all the work. Yeah. So, so here's what the advice is: tell those people. Stop looking like ask. Each other. Ask no, no. The people who comment on it. Oh right. Ask the people if they've ever heard of humans and the brains that yeah, they have. Yeah, 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 true. Because if if they've heard of humans and the brains yep. that they have, mm -hmm. they wouldn't actually ask that question yep. because it is a very common thing. Yep. Um, to date like hello, your Sigmund yeah. Freud. No, don't knock, do that. Knock, knock, knock. But hello. it's honestly why you've always dated girls that look like dad. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. No, but you always, you, you, you do. You look for someone that has the qualities, the good qualities typically, in your mind, and sometimes you're bad, the bad ones. Sometimes typically, the bad ones. Not mm -hmm. typically even, but it is a very common thing yeah. that both men and women do. They seek out the opposite sex parent. Yep. Like a lot of women I know, even if they like purport to hate the qualities that, they, that mm -hmm. they're that sort of taking on, they, they date men and end up with men who are just like their dad, sometimes even look like them. And the truth is men do that too. Uh, hello, knock, knock, knock. No. Sigmund Freud. Don't do that, honestly. That's the uh, dumb. That's the dumbest thing you can possibly knock, knock, do. Knock, knock, knock. Beep, beep. Oh, oh, oh. Beep, beep. We're in traffic. Beep, beep. Oh, Sigmund I mean, Freud's car they, somewhere. They picked beep, it up. Beep. You know, yeah. you don't have to say we're in traffic. Also, to say knock, 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 and also do the knock, knock, knock is absolutely redundant. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and and then women like their their dad, right? That's what they say. Like, oh, keep, keep, oh like keep. I just said, is that what you're talking about? Did you say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's why the sexiest thing you could say to a woman is, "Hey, if you make a mess, you better clean it up." But that's like why every girl is from Long Island, <laughs> and. And, Clean up after yourself. <laughs> and the daughter of an abusive dad. <laughs> Interesting. But they can't help it. They go like this. I. I, I do. <laughs> Clean up after yourself. <laughs> Cut to. Dan, 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 dan. <laughs> I have to laugh like that now because I'm sick. <laughs> That's so dumb, dude. It sucks. And and and, and then and then when they bring it, when the dad brings her in the down the aisle and, and she's supposed to be, she says, Look what they did, cut up after yourself. And she doesn't like it. And then the guy goes, I do. And then afterwards at the ceremony, she drops something and he says, Cut up after yourself. And she gets all wet. <laughs> I mean, so circuitous to get to that. <laughs> so, yeah, man. It's not about 
the people who are fucking dragged up in this. Did you just rewind your? Yeah, I'm trying not to say bad words. Fuck. Oh, you were. Yeah, for nag up. You can say bad words now. Okay, for fuck's sake. Wow. The fucked up people in we'll this situation it it, but. are. That's right. Knock, knock. Hello, Sigmund Freud. Beep, beep. beep. Knock, knock, knock. Beep, beep. beep. Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Beep, beep. Hello, I'm Sigmund Freud. <laughs> uh, are the people who who say something about it? We're like, oh, your fiance really looks like your mom. Yeah, like, you, what a dick thing yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now when you're having sex with your fiance, you're going to be thinking about your mom. Yeah. Don't. No one wants that. You can just knock on their head and be like Sigmund Freud. Yeah. Hell, yeah exactly. Knock on their skull and say, that's what you should do. Yeah, imagine, imagine, that, that's a, <laughs> dude, imagine how dick it would be like wow your fancy looks a lot like your mom you look like this hello Sigmund Freud you ever heard of him yeah is anybody oh, in yeah, that uh, is anybody oh, look at Pedro Pascal over here <laughs> oh no dude it's the Pedro Pascal yeah they already named it that well he added a shot didn't even ask for it but it knows me well also dude what's up with the no uh, when the ice melts by the time the postmates gets here oh dude uh oh <laughs> so many sound uh, effects between the two of us <laughs> so all right, all right. the guy from police academy so yeah it's on them the people that are calling it out verbally to you a preacher are to you the people under who the are eyes of calling it go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead no the people who well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the people who are calling it out to you <sighs> Because I knew, I knew, I, I saw it. All right, you, you did it good. I just, I was doing it good. Yeah. No, but come on. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Uh, they're the people who have the problem. You're not doing anything wrong. Uh, I'm sure your mom's noticed, and that's a, maybe a little bit weird for her. Oh but man. Who cares? Imagine. Mom, this is Stacy. She's just like this. Wow. Well, they turn into what? Scanners. Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool uh, uh all right we can do the next one yeah hey guys it's me Pause jamie it. again from Cal she got that throat piece dude yeah everyone everyone has eyes what everyone has eyes so we see it so you don't need to say anything you don't need to pause yeah. it no what i'm saying I, I, I should get a throat piece okay well right i don't i don't know but i did know you were gonna somehow make it about you now let's start over Give her the fucking... Okay, well, that's why I said pause it, because I didn't want to talk over But it's her. a bad reason to pause, right? She has a good throat piece. Oh, good throat piece. What oh, is okay. it? All I don't know what it is. It's all you said piece, was though. that it was a throat piece. Honestly, having a throat piece is fucking awesome no matter what. Oh, wow. It doesn't okay. matter what it is. I am being dead serious. See you later, man. Well, <laughs> what if it was a, a if it just fucking said Osama bin Laden. A big guy just like slamming a giant penis of his into a, like a big tree... So you're not right and for the, this company. And the, <laughs> um, yeah, and the I, tree is like falling because his dick is so heavy and powerful. You know? So here's what I'd like. Uh, I don't know you, your <laughs> take on it. Picture like a guy, his penis, he's holding it and he's swinging it into a tree. But the here's the thing. It's so big and it's mm -hmm. so mighty. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what do you do with that? What would you do with that? Could be, all right. Take oh, it from here. We'll work on it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Come back with something ill. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. yeah no, okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I can see it. Maybe a different size. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah uh, okay. So let's look at the, what the th what the what the throat piece lady wants to say. Hey guys, it's me, Jamie, again from Calgary, Alberta. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update first. So I did take your advice and sent my ex that podcast episode. Wow. And he. By the way, this is the ashes. You remember? Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. she. What we could just remind everybody, Matt. Or 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 Mako. The the ex boyfriend left and said, "Yeah, go ahead." His his father's ashes at her house when they broke up. Yeah, and uh, he took her his PS five and left the ashes yes. behind. And uh, yeah, okay. And was like mail them. Yeah, so yeah. And she was like mail them. I don't want to come get them. Yeah, just mail yeah. them. Yeah. No, he also was said saying, other stuff like he was saying like, "Can you respect my father's ashes by putting them on, like on the mantle for?" Christmas? Oh yeah! Oh, right. wow, right. wow! 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 That's right. All sorts of crazy shit going on with this one. Good, All right. Good job, Anthony. Thanks, Anthony. Not Maka. Suddenly, just wanted his dad back immediately. So wow. he is no longer with me. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys completely solved that issue for me. Thank you so much. Um, Second thing I want to say is, Matt, I completely agree with you. We are meant to be together. Oh. How can we deny our compatible hairlines? <laughs> Slide into my DMs. This is me shooting my shot. 
My oh. DMs are open for oh, you. Oh, in public. Okay. Third thing I want to say is this is a follow-up question, um, and it's completely unrelated to the whole ashes thing. Uh, but I have a, an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis. No, it's it. very similar to Crohn's disease. No, oh, no, yeah, I know that. it. Yeah. Um, that I've had sucks. to get I had to get Sorry. my large intestine removed when I was thirteen. Sorry to hear it. Um, and it is a, a big factor in my life. Um, is that something as far as dating goes? Is that something that would make you apprehensive to date someone if they have pre existing medical conditions that do impact their life and may impact their life even more? down the road. Um, is that something that you would kind of be cautious of dating someone? Um, or would that not be an issue for you at all? Uh, I'm just curious. Um, because I just tell people when I'm yeah, going yeah. on dates, I just tell people that's right. Yeah. Because if you can't deal with it, then that's not going to work. Yeah, sooner but, or later, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, um, I'm just that's curious to know what it's like from I don't the other end. Think Thank you guys again so much, Matt. Can't wait to hear from you in my <laughs> DMs. She probably likes me uh, too, but I'm, you know, I, no, she doesn't. I have, you know. She made that clear. She uh, likes me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I actually was thinking about this the other day because they, someone called in on Golden Hour and did the same. Uh, asked this, asked something. Uh, somebody had something, not that, but they were like, "When do I tell?" Oh, a kid. It was a kid. That STD. And um, had and a, a kid had an STD. No, I'm just kidding. Like, oh, that's the oh. STD you get. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yes. It's a hilarious joke. Yeah. I would have gotten it if I wasn't a little bit sick. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. No. And you would have laughed regular, not that way, because you don't laugh that regular. Right. Yeah, right. exactly. So anyway, um, yeah, the, you know, well, something like that, I think you don't have to bring up first date. No, no but that's also not the question. The question is, yeah, do, I know. Do the me, we as men. I know what the question is. Uh, well, go ahead and answer it. I'm saying, <laughs> first of all, my thing. Would we? And then. Okay, so then what is she I asking? would not. I would not. I would let love lead. Yeah, if you, I mean, I actually think it's like, it's sort of the inverse of a red flag, like like emotional or psychological damage is much more concerning than some kind of like internal physical damage. Oh, yeah. Like, and, and that, I don't, if I really loved someone, fell in love with, some, especially if I just like met someone, fell in love with them, and I found out they had all sort of colitis, I would not. I like, wouldn't oh, even whoa, think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, even at all. Not even for a second. No. Yeah, exactly. Not would, even for a second. You would, correct me if I'm wrong, but you'd be like, okay, well, what do we have to do to make it to where you're comfortable and everything is okay, and like we take care of you? Yeah, make me yeah. a part of making your yeah. life better. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, whatever I can do, I would too. And, uh, and and a lot of people are like that. I think. Yeah, uh, I think I th most yeah. Uh, any guy who's like, it doesn't matter how much I like a girl if she had ulcerative colitis, she's gone. Well, you a piece. that guy is you piece a fucking loser, right? And you piece. What is that? Piece of oh, shit. Oh, piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Loser, piece of shit. And also like, what? Are yeah. you like, that's like an actual psychopath move because there's like no feelings yeah, yeah, yeah. of actual feelings of love. It's just like this completely superficial dumb thing. All, all sort of colitis, I'm not too clear on what it is, but I know, yeah, she got her intestine removed. Large intestine, she said, uh -huh. yeah. Which means she just got to go potty way quicker after she eats, right? It also means there's way more room in there for you know what. Disgusting. The Just most saying, disgusting you've ever been on. If you got show. a big old winky, I mean, she she might be for you. Yeah. If you got a big old well, you don't. winky, well, you don't. So you shouldn't hit her. No, up, I right? have a big winky. I have a big winky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, trying well, to get around the YouTube. All right, censors, yeah, no, you know? I don't. I I would not even like if, if like if Kristen had something like that. I, I wouldn't even. Uh, everything would be the same, except for I would be concerned about it and want to help. And she would be in pain more often. Well, everything Probably, will be the right? same in the relationship. As well, oh, so, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, yeah, my sympathy goes out to you for having that. But any guy, if you get any whiff of any guy being like trepid, having trepidation because of that, guy's a fucking loser. Yeah, psychological uh, damage. Psychological yeah. shit is way worse. Usually people with physical symptoms or physical uh, ailments. Uh, Ailments also have more psychological fucked up shit because they have to deal with it and they don't know how to. But you seem a very good... Uh, See, I think the almost the opposite because they, they have to deal with it. Yeah, and, and they overcome it. They've gotten to this point so far, and they've like persevered. You're right. People go through physical shit at a young age. It You're really right. changes them. You're right, dude. Speaking firsthand, you grow up. Yeah. You're right, dude. It changes. And I can admit when I'm wrong. Oh, okay. But it's not even really that I was wrong. No, it wasn't. It was, so stop yelling is what I'm going to say. Yeah, I was just kind of feeling it out. I was as I was talking, yeah. and then you kind of helped with that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I could be of service to you, mm -hmm. but 
Maybe. Yeah, it makes yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, no, for a second just stop talking. <laughs> okay? So I can just <clears throat> so I can just finish doing this. Uh okay. y- yeah, it makes you be <laughs> that much more of an appealing potential partner because you are more likely to have your shit together upstairs than your average person even. So it's a, it's actually a plus. And if guys are not thinking of it that way, then they stupid, especially because they're yes. not realizing they got extra room in there for... God, okay, man, that's so not true, you know? They're Mr. It's Winky. It's so not true. Okay. Like, oh, but the doctor's like, but there is an upside, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a large Winky? Um, <laughs> take two saying. of those and call me in the morning. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, next one. So bored. What's going Hand on, stuck Chris? To his head. So Chris, bored. I saw you in Chicago on New Year's Eve uh, a couple years back, and I saw you in Rockford back in the fall. Love Hell the yeah. shows, hilarious Thank as you. always. Uh, I got one for both of you guys. I need uh, both sides of your input. Okay. Uh, I'm 24. My little brother's 18, and now that he's 18, he thinks you know he's the big man in the of house, the, sure. the big, big guy with the last name. And I got to knock him down a few pegs. I'm okay. still big, bro. You know, oh, you know how it goes, okay. Chris. Um, <laughs> What is something you have done, wish you would have done, or would do as an older brother to, you know, kind of let Matt know where he's at? Okay. And Matt, what is something that would really get under your skin or something that Chris has done that bothers you? Uh, any input much. would be helpful. Got to remember much. that I, he's got to remember that I am that guy. So thanks, there's, guys. There's not that much. Thanks, dude. There's not that much. <laughs> First of all, Sadeeper on this guy, but go ahead. Yeah, Sadeeper. So, it, like, literally just got done digging. Um, you, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know what I would do to, I don't, you know what I mean? Like he's asking what I would do to like check you. Yeah, we're not like that. Yeah, we're, we're not like we've that. We've never at all. been like that. No, weirdly. we did. We did grow brothers up. Brothers are I, like that though. Right. We're just siblings in general, not even just yeah. brothers. Yeah, like, it's weird how much we're not like that yeah. actually. Yeah. And 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 uh and <clears throat> and I was pretty much always good to you. Well, I wouldn't. That's actually not the same thing. So, I no, it's not. Friend. But I would. I I think that I'm. I was I good to go you. That far, and yeah. one time when we grew up, you you. One time when we grew maybe up, you realized that I maybe you you thought I wasn't always good to you. And you maybe, weren't. That's why I made you really think that. makes me think really fucked up. That may, really fucked me up. To think about well, all the time. you should have been good. different then. But what? Well, I what? What was I doing that wasn't good? Making fun of you in front of your friends? No. Okay. No, making fun of me in front of your friends. Oh, uh, that was a big. That was a big. Interesting. No-no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what that, else? that affected you. That that affected you, and I know it did. And I, you know, um, so then you were bad. You were a bad brother. Do you like who you are, right now? <coughs> mostly. Dracula. Mo- Dracula. Mostly. Mostly. Well, it could have been because of that, right? Yeah. No, it could be the little part that I'm not <laughs> is probably that. Um, uh, yeah. I. I. Uh, yeah. I. I. So that would be the thing. Make in front of you in front of my friends that you wouldn't have yeah, wanted me to Yeah, clown his ass in front of your boys, dude, and make him feel like he's fucking seven oh, years old. Deep burn! Huh. We said it. Do it and make him fucking cry for three days in his room. Hey, See how hey, that goes over for him. You guys all want to come over? You. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Hello? Oh, hey, come on in. Nine guys. <laughs> hey, you're fat. <laughs> my brother. My little brother. He's a big man in the house. Yeah, yeah big man like this. Big man now. <laughs> fat guy, right? I guess, man. You're a dick. They leave. <laughs> See you guys later. See ya. You want to come? To the to the 18-year-old. <laughs> He's like this. I guess it, it <laughs> oh, life, oh, lifeline. Is the question toward me, what could you what have done? What did I do? He said, what did I do that got under your skin? Oh, that, that's my right. answer for that, yeah. yeah. And nothing else. Yeah. But what about you then? What? Well, my, his, his question for me is, what should I have done to check you a little bit more? But what should he do is what he's really saying, to check his brother. Right, well, he did ask me that. And you didn't answer. Because you said, why don't you do this? Which is re- relating it to your answer, which is a good one. I answered my part, yeah. No, you answered also my part. Wow, two birds, one stone. We did it. I mean, it's not the thing where you should be bragging about. We did just... it. We did it. We okay. did it. All right. So If you have a big Mr. Winky, you no. can have sex with her. No, I did good on the question, and you did good too. Okay. And it's cold now again. All right. This feels so good in here now, though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, I baby. Just took ecstasy. What's up, Delia brothers? Yeah, hell yeah, plus it. A giant. Hell yeah, dude. A giant. A mob boss. A giant. A giant, dude. A fucking absolute giant with a regular coffee cup. Makes Dave Bautista look regular size. Wow, dude. Dave Bautista is the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. And when yeah. you shake his hand, it's like wrestling a wall. Okay. Oh, what I want to know is why is his head uh, wrinkled as fuck? Bald guys. Do you oh. have, everyone's heads like that when they're bald. Especially if they're big. Forget it. Oh, okay. uh, mine's not. 
The Rock, the, the, the Rock though. Is that radio? The Rock is like that too. I, it might be a side effect of the fucking, and I'm not going to say, I don't want to expose it. And I don't know Dave Bautista like that, but it could be the Royce. And I'm not, I don't mean yeah, to, I right? Know. I think but it's the, the Rock, radio. you know, it's like, yeah. Royce. And dude, if you look, at, like put it this way, if Hugh Jackman shaved his head bald when There's he was no shooting way. Wolverine, Royce. Oh. I, I'm just saying it would have had hot dog sausages under there like that. Fucking Rodeo and Juliet, dude. Okay. Okay. All, All right, right, let's play this All guy. Right, next one. Chris, I saw you in Providence. It was amazing. I'm my boss. Thanks. My <laughs> wife actually gave me uh, the tickets to the show, and I had the and I opportunity her. to meet you after the show. Oh, yeah. Um, Is when I met you, about I brought up a real hard-hitting issue. Here we go. And I think we need to talk about it a little oh, bit more. Okay. And the issue is, well, as you know, your last name is Delia. Yeah. Yes. My last name is Demelia. Yeah, I remember this. Very close. And we have an apostrophe between the D yeah, and the e. I remember it. And yeah, oftentimes when I'm trying to sign up for something or book something, let's say like a flight. Yeah, um, no apostrophe. The website just does not accept the apostrophe. It drives me nuts. Special character. It's like add an ampersand. And that's annoying yeah. as hell. 39. Other times I'm at a company and yeah. they're looking my name up and they can't find because my name of the apostrophe. at all. Yeah, pick one life. And usually it's because they're either missing the apostrophe or they put a space. So right, yes. the I want to so raise stupid. awareness to this. So my question is, how do we deal with this apostrophe? And how can we make this more of a known thing? You know, I'm also beginning to think that the real conspiracy so well spoken. theory with your uh, YouTube page is because of the apostrophe. Oh, Cheers, guys. I mean, hey, no way right, so look, so well spoken, re rehearsed it 25 times before he did it. Yeah. Dude, we're going to want to go back to that one, by the way, because I want to see the from beginning of that again. But it's so annoying that life doesn't have a way. There's so many names of apostrophes in it. Dude, it's like why well, the apostrophe you know why? community is up in arms. Because why? You know why? why? Because it's a it's it's a it's affecting a group that isn't put upon enough to get together to try to change it. Yeah, I understand. It's not, oh, oh well, then why the... But because basically... You asked me once. The, You're like, oh, no, I get it. No, I get it because apostrophe community, the apostrophe community is a community. But but people act like, you know, of course, trans and blacks and Asians, yes, I get that. But the apostrophe community is fucking real. But not really because the the oppression that we're facing is just... When you're when filling you try out to forms. fill out an... Uh, uh, form online but why why isn't an apostrophe acceptable why is it ampersand quote 39 dash yeah whatever thing? it is what the fuck because is people that? go like this whoever's in charge they just go oh yeah we didn't really get around to it yet and then no and then the other guy goes like this yeah but doesn't it seem like there's nothing to get around to there's just make it possible to put it in it's not a letter though but it's a character they only take letters they should take letters and also the apostrophe because those are in a lot of names yes you're right yeah. It, you know what also, it is? Dashes, discriminatory on Italians. Dashes are in names. They are? Dude, hyphenated names? Oh, yeah. right, yeah. Do they take those? I don't know. I don't I'm know assuming either. they do. They, I don't they, know. they obviously have a... Um, it's against Italians. Forms. Yeah, but French people have it too. Yeah. Uh, apostrophes? Yep. I know. <clears throat> oh, okay. So that guy, go back to the beginning of his video. So do a lot of African names, actually. Uh, can you wide... Take the sip before? What's up, Delia Brothers? So? Fucking... Chris, I saw you to do it. <laughs> wow, dude. The balls to take the that pause, too. To hey. <laughs> What's up, Delia Brothers? Dude. Such a mob boss. I holy mean, shit. Literally under him, a guy like this. <laughs> With piano wire around his neck. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, dude. De, de, what's his name? De, 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 Demilio. Demilio? Demilio. Oh, so he's like the Demilio? Is, isn't that the same last name as the girls? I don't know. Yeah, but that's different. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. I forgot, I forgot we, what even we need, the, to, we need to get a group together, me, him, and you. Yeah, but and, this is why I'm saying it hasn't happened because there are too uh, many people like me who are like, uh, I can't get too up in arms about it. I'm not passionate enough about this. If it was like we were being persecuted in a real way, mm. then it would be different. As some groups you know, are, and those are the right. groups that create actual change. Nobody's getting beat up, you know. <clears throat> yeah, that's nobody's, not. Right. Nobody's. There's no racial slur like, yeah, you high commas. No. Yeah. No, there's Dago for Italians, yeah, but, but that's, that's not... Yeah, but that's not... Yeah. There's form filler <laughs> online people. <laughs> what? He said high commas. <laughs> you so upper decker commas? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're just destined to have issues with this until... Yeah. Until someone starts beating the shit out of us. And then we right. use that to well, be because like... because of that. Com you know, raise the commas. But you need commas. to get the shit kicked out of you because of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. You fucking... You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Top level. 
periods with a, wow you know with a thing on it. jumping from the top line you know <laughs> in a wrestling ring all right all right we're next done with one. that next one next one Hey, Matt and Chris. Hope you're doing well. Love the show. My question is about my husband. So he loves video games and he plays maybe like five hours a day. Divorce him. Um, I've always tried to support him in his hobby and not try to like take it away <laughs> because it's just what he loves to do. But the problem is he doesn't really have other healthy lifestyle habits. Divorce him. Hobbies. <laughs> and I really value like having a productive, healthy lifestyle. So it's uh, divorce him. to see him like spend so much time playing video games. Um, so I'm just <laughs> curious, at what point do you think video games like get to be too much and I like an addiction? Um, no, and just, just how would you deal with a situation like this? Thanks. Is he making the yaper or not? I would divorce him. If he's making the yaper, good. If he's not making the yaper, okay. And also if he's being being with you, if, he's, if the video game playing is getting in the way of your relationship or the yaper, you got to really have a talk. In any way though, not like if it's made him, if it, it counts if it's like making him late to some stuff, that yeah. counts. Yeah, of course, yeah. It, it has to be. Or his mood later on. It's like, Ugh! and she's like, <laughs> why are you snapping at me? He's like, oh, because of, you know, I was in the top of the mountain. And I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't get, I, I didn't have enough coins to pay for the fucking yeah if you can like talk to him while he's satchel. doing it if it's if it's he's just satchel if he's just like around the house for five hours and it's like me time did you say five hours a day yeah 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 so listen to me you're you're young enough to get out your days are 19 hours your days are 19 hours because of this fucking video game playing dipshit oh no 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 I don't oh, agree. Okay. I don't agree. Well, okay. First of all, we don't have all the context, okay? Five she gave us enough. No, because what if his job is being on Twitch and making money playing well, video games? obviously she would have said that. Oh, and people aren't nuts. Okay, but she why? She could be absolutely out to lunch. But why make that leap? Everyone calling in could be absolutely out to lunch. Dude, if, if your me time is five hours a day, it's probably too much, okay? Mm -hmm. If you're in a relationship. If you're trying to have a family. I don't know. She looks young. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, it, you know... He, he might be like, it's not five hours a day. You know, sometimes I don't, I don't play Saturday, Sundays. Okay, but like we picture. do with every other caller, <laughs> let's assume, okay. let's take it at face value. Fair enough. Okay? That is the truth. What would you, what, what, what do you advise, sir? I think five, uh, okay. If we're just taking it at face value, I think five hours a day is, is too much. It's a lot, yeah, dude. It's yeah. too much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she's saying, what she, what could she do? What should she do? You're yeah. saying, if it's if it remains to be five hours, look, you have to decide if you want to live with that or not. Because yeah. Because it's not going to change. Unless, do I think it's an addiction? I do think it's probably an addiction if he's just, you know, doing it five hours. Because also video games, they're, they're geared towards making you stay. Of it's course. like Vegas with no yeah, clock. Exactly. It's you, you know, so it's like you're trying to. You're. You're. you're he, it's not gonna let him leave. He has to choose. Okay. Um. I'm. I'm done with this. I gotta throw my PS5 out. Um. But here's the thing. Ask him as nice or as however you want. Yeah. Can you do it a, a little less? Right. How about half of that. She probably has already. Right. But I, if she hasn't started there, start there. But if you, like if you really wanted to change, you should seriously consider that he's not going to. Yeah. Because assuming you have asked for three hours instead of five or something like that, and he hasn't given it to you, why would we imagine that change is around the corner? He, he doesn't appear to be giving you any reason to think he's going to change. And also you got to, if you say like, look, you know, I think this is because the, the definition of addiction is if it's getting into the way of your, of your other, uh, of your, of your life, you know what I mean? So if you're willing to be like, yo, this upsets me and if you're gonna be playing video games five hours a day for the rest of our lives i don't know if i want to be in this relationship yeah. then that's what it is and it's affecting his life and you know he probably will because he's a guy i would have gotten defensive and been like well what the fuck you know like oh wow it's what i like having fun why are you trying to control me you know i make money f for this for the for us it's okay like whatever it is it's just you know i don't know man like yeah i, I mean at first i was joking about divorcing but like uh -huh. If that really, you got to be real with yourself because you can't assume he's going to change. You got to decide if it's good, for, if it's, that's workable mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Because what if he doesn't change? Moreover, what if he gets worse? Mm -hmm. Five hours a day. I've heard people 10 hours a day, 15 hours a day. Oh, I've heard yeah. people, they don't leave their bedroom. But we used to play in our 20s. We used to play a lot and we don't, I, we just don't play anymore. I never would spend five hours a day by myself playing video games. Well, you know, there would be the odd I day that he's I playing with his friends online. That's the difference now, though. Okay. Everyone you really seem to be, have it, 
have a thing for defending this guy and that's pissing me off. I just, I like to look at the whole picture and you don't, you know, you I like would to look too at a sliver. if we could, but we can't. So we got to take our word for it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Divorce yeah. him. No, I, I, yeah, it's a tough thing, man. Bring it up and say, yo, it, yo, it has to change. Like, yeah, say, be real about it. Yeah. <laughs> be very real about it. Be like, look, this, this is not okay. We're a young couple. We got to be out in the world doing things, getting to know each other better. Fine. Hitting Mr. Winky up every day, every day, or at least every other day. Hitting Mr. Winky up. Waking up Mr. Winky, dude, starring Richard Dreyfuss. Dude, mm. you are too young yeah. to be okay with just a 19-hour day every day of your life yeah. with your husband. Yeah. Okay. How young? She looked mad young. She looked like she was like 20. They're in their 20s, yeah. Or she is. Okay. All right, yeah. Is my beard painted on? Yes. What? So you guys can't even say anything about it, but here's my question. My so my brother on. plays video games a lot. And this one specific video game, he's always like, I got to work. And I'm, I'm like, work? It's your day off. He goes, no, I got to grind Destiny. That's the name of the game. Huh? And I'm like, You know what I mean? So what's like a what's like a funny thing that I could say, a funny clap back that I could say to him in those moments? Because it makes me just want to pull my hair out of my head and be like, how about you go to the gym? But you know, that's just me because I'm trying to project on others. What do you guys think? He's saying that his brother says, I got to go to work. And then he and says, video games? yeah. And then he says, no, I know, I know. I don't actually have to work. I got to grind on destiny. I think the only thing to say is, Oh, okay. Well, if you keep that up, your destiny is to be a fucking loser. <laughs> that's a good comment. That's that's yeah. that's it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. I mean, that's bye bye. I knew that wasn't going to be the end of it. Bye bye now. I knew that wasn't going to be the end. Bye of bye. It. Shave. Bye bye. Well, he him. Shave. Bye bye. Cut how, your hair. Bye bye. How do you know his brother has the same hair? No, I'm saying about him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh oh. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh. They don't ever say something is something it's not. Don't say you have to work. When you gotta, what was gotta, it? Yeah. Go, you gotta go to work. <laughs> what I want to know is why he even included that part of the story to us. Like, what, what, what bearing does that have on the point he's trying to convey to us? None. Do it again. Do the video again, and and don't do that part. So what? Do what part then? Just the part about. What are you doing today? I'm gonna go. Grind oh yeah, on yeah, this. yeah. Like why? What? Because his brother's like, "Yo, dude, I'll see you in a little bit. Got to go to work." Only knows the songs from like the first <laughs> video games <laughs> ever. Is that Mario? Yeah, that the song. That, that one's banging. That. Why was there no hip hop song with that? There had to be. There has to have been. Yeah. By now, right? right. There okay. is one actually. All right. All right. I know. What is it? Who knows? But there what is. What is it? All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That. That. Yeah. All right. All right. Next. Hey, Chris and Matt. I'm Hello. a huge fan. Chris, I'll see you in Minneapolis. Nah, hell yeah. So, what do you mean? You're going to be my there. My question Minneapolis. Around me too, though. this little guy. Oh, my friend found him and asked me if I'd take him in. I've had him for about a week and I've fallen in love with Aww. him. Um, but if I'm being truthful, I just don't know if I'm fit to be a pet owner at this mm. point in my life. I'm a college student and the responsibility has been very overwhelming. Um, oh. And I can't just take off like I used to or, you know, be gone for cat, an though. extended amount of time. Kind of like having a shelf. Um, but the main concern <laughs> is that if he would need a medical procedure or a surgery, that I would not be able to afford it. And obviously, oh, I want to oh. give him the best quality of life possible. Okay. Um, I love him very much, but there's just been other things like my whole sleep schedule is messed up. Really? And she just got it's been tough some, for uh, a little bit, but I don't know. Like my boyfriend had an honest conversation with me and was like, you need to really think about this. Oh, he, like, yeah, I get what's going on. Okay. Is this something that you are willing to commit to and like do all the things like to the best of your ability? So anything helps. Thank you. All right, you're overthinking it. His your boyf boyfriend understandably doesn't want you to keep it, but yeah. it's new. Give it more time. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what about a cat. It's gonna, as you, as my brother just put it, it's kind of like just having another shelf in your house. Yeah. It does nothing. It needs nothing. Yeah. It takes care of itself and takes pride in doing so. Yeah. 
it doesn't really need anything from you. It just needs you to leave food for it yeah, it's so when you easy. go away. My, my and buddy, take the shit out of its box. My buddy said he had a cat. I go over his house. How, how, I'm like, does he? Yeah. I never see it. Exactly, yeah. Where is it? You it's got a cat? Not, where is it? It's nothing like nothing like owning any other no, pet. No, no, no. And I also, also her boyf- your boyfriend sounds like a bit of a bitch, dude. His boyfriend's just, he's trying to make, keep his life convenient. The cat probably comes yeah. up on the bed when he's trying to yeah, mack on her with dude, his Mr. I would Winky. Do the same thing, bro. With his Mr. Winky. And, you yeah. know, no, it's just, dude. it's an inconvenience for him, but who cares? Having a pet is the greatest thing you can do as a young person. I truly believe that. Because it's a, mm, it's a good bridge not a to, resp- oops, it's a good bridge to re- the responsibility that is required of an adult. And there's no better time to learn that in college. You're, she said she's in school, right? Yeah, I don't think. I think you're jumping the gun here. You're also worried about things that aren't necessarily going to happen, like a medical procedure. Yeah. You also, know. you can get animal insurance. It's mad cheap, oh. and it covers a lot of drastic things that animals need. Oh. It's like twelve dollars a month or something. Oh, totally worth it. Yeah. If you're worried about that. Um. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I, I think that. Uh, yeah, I, I I think just roll with it a little longer. She yeah, just give yourself long. another month. Yeah. Like she said, it's been a week. I think. Hold the cat. Keep the cat. Yeah. Keep the cat. No. Keep the pussy. No. Pussy cat. He's saying so. We don't need to bleep it out. Yeah. Well, obviously. Um. Well, not obviously to the. You know. To the I mean. algorithm. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's algorithm? No. Yeah, and that's the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Uh, but I will see you in Minneapolis April 1st. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, for hopefully that. you're bringing your boyfriend and not your cat. Um, but yes, you go to chrisley.com for tickets. Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Austin, Midland, uh, uh, Ohio, and a bunch of different places. You, If you have a question, go to watchlifeline.com. Click the description link below. And if you want a one-on-one with your boy, pimping, pimping, bout it, bout it, baby, baby. <laughs> Matalia, you go to matalia.com, book a one on one session. We go real deep on whatever your problem is. Uh, what else? That's it. Hey, oh, like and subscribe, dude. Like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Thanks, guys. Yeah. Woo!